I'm Dr. Brittany Pearson and I work at the Alabama Vision Hearing Center. The reason I got involved in audiology is when I was growing up, there's about 13 years difference between my younger brother and myself. So we, I grew up, he was born premature, about nine weeks premature, so he was in the NICU for a while. When you're in the NICU, sometimes if you're in the incubators and just being early gestational age, his hearing mechanism didn't develop the way it was supposed to. So I grew up going to all of his audiology appointments. I never heard of an audiologist. Most people had never heard of an audiologist. Um, so I went to his appointments with him. It was very, very interesting. It was neat to see how the counseling and the facilitation there really changed just the monitoring the aspect of his age um, with his hearing. Ended up going to Auburn for undergrad and my philanthropy for my sorority was for the speech and hearing impaired. So everything just fell into place. I was where I was supposed to be as far as where God wanted me and what I was supposed to be doing. And it feels really good to be able to do what I'm doing, just connecting people back to their family and the things that they're missing, even the things they didn't realize they were missing. Hearing is really, really important. People think if you could use, lose one sense, what would it be? A lot of people say hearing. But if you think back on things, the way you associate a lot of memories are smell and hearing, more so even than vision. So a certain song will take you to a certain place. If you start losing your hearing, then you kind of are missing those memories too. It's really important to go get your hearing checked, even if you're young. iPods, concerts, early exposure happens. Noise exposure is really, really prevalent. You may not be noticing your hearing loss as much as family members are, but listen to them when they tell you that they're noticing it. They're doing you a favor. They're not trying to put you down or embarrass you. They want you to go in and help yourself. We always tell patients it could be wax that's in your ears. It could be something more serious. You could have a tumor. It could just be normal presbycusis, age-related hearing loss. Come in, get it checked out. It only takes 30 minutes to get it done. Um, we don't do anything that hurts. So we can get a baseline and see where you are. It's not all about hearing aids. Sometimes it's just about general health and making sure you're doing what's best for your overall well-being.